Welcome to Statics Lectures by Civil Thinking and today we are going to see another concept and the concept is Equivalent Force Systems. Now before I move on, I suggest to you to please watch the video lecture on force systems one by one in sequence as in the playlist. You can find the playlist link in the description or also you can click on the pop-up on your screen. Now coming to the today's class, what are Equivalent Force Systems? Now. True force systems are said to be equivalent when the net force on each system is equal and the net moment at a point in both systems is equal. Now what's it saying? Let us consider two force systems. Let us say this is a body. Okay. There are some forces acting like this is F1 at point A and this is F2 at point B. Okay, let us call this as system 1. System 1. And let us consider another system. Okay, now let us consider this point A. And let us call this force as F3. And let there be a point B. And let the force be here F4. Okay, let this be system 2 right we have system one we have a body with forces acting on a and b we call this as system one and we have another body with and forces acting f3 at point a and f4 which is horizontal at point b and we call this as system two now these two systems they are equivalent okay they are equivalent when when the summation of forces summation of forces okay in the system one is equal to summation of forces in the system two and summation of moment in the system one is equal to summation of moment in the system two okay now when these two conditions are fulfilled this condition and this condition then we say these two force systems are equivalent okay now we can also break down the forces into horizontal and vertical that is summation of forces in the system one in x direction is equal to summation of forces in the system two in the x direction and summation of forces in the system one in y direction is equal to summation of forces in the system two in y direction okay i have break down the forces into two axes x axis and y axis okay if the forces in this in the x axis for example this is x axis and this is y axis that is f2 is equal to f4 right because summation of forces in system one is f2 and summation of forces in the system 2 along x axis is f4 right it means f2 is equal to f4 right and summation of forces in the y direction in system 1 is on we have only one force here in the y direction so f1 and in system 2 we have only one force in the y direction which is f3 it means f1 is equal to f3 right so when f2 is equal to f4 and f1 is equal to f2 right now this is the forces what about moments let us say here is a moment m a and here is a moment okay m a 2 here is the moment m a 1 moment at a in system 1 m a 2 is the moment at a in the system 2 okay when moment at point a in system one is equal to moment at point a in system two when all of these conditions are satisfied then we say system one and system two they are equivalent okay don't worry right now because when we solve a problem on this we will understand everything okay so let's move on to the problem now we have a problem here the problem is find a force couple system at point A of the B 
which is equivalent to the force system shown below. Now, let us say this is system 1, okay? And let us draw another system. Let us say this is system 2, okay? Now, here is also a point A here. We have to find find a force coupled system at point A. We have to find the force at A, okay, at this point, and also couple means moment, okay, couple means moment at A, such that system 1 and system 2 are equivalent, okay. Now, as you can see here, let us assume this is x axis, positive x axis, and upward forces, it is positive y axis. Okay, now, now system 1 and system 2 are equivalent when summation of forces in the system 1 is equal to summation of forces in the system 2. We can break it down into two parts, right? Summation of forces along x axis in system 1 is equal to summation of forces along x axis in system 2, right? And we will also break it into y components summation of forces along y axis in system 1 is equal to summation of forces along y axis in system 2, right? And also summation of moment. Now we have to find a force couple system at point A, right? It means we have to find the couple at A or we have to find the moment at A. So in this case, summation of moment at point A in system 1 is equal to the moment at this point, right, in the system 2. Summation of moment at point A in the system 2, okay. We have to find all of these things, then we will be able to find the force and the moment at A, which is the force coupled system at point A, okay. Now, let's begin one by one. Let's first solve this and let me change the color first. Now, let us first apply this. Now, this is system 1, okay. Now, summation of forces along x-axis in system 1 is equal to what? Now, along x-axis, there is only 100 Newton, which is positive, right? Because this direction is positive and it is along the same direction. So, it is 100 Newton, okay. So, it will be summation of forces in the system 2 along x-axis, okay? So, let me write here. Mm, let me rather, rather move it. Okay. Okay, now this is the x component in system 1. Let us say this is the x component, okay, fx in the system 2, okay. So it has to be equal to fx, right, because this is the condition, summation of force in the x, along x direction in the system 2, okay. And in the system 2, along x direction, there is only one force, fx. So they have to be equal, right. So we get f of x is equal to 100 newton right so let's apply this one let's apply the second condition now we know that this is upward is positive so this 100 newton 200 newton they are upward and 400 newton they are downward okay let's find the summation of forces in this system one along y-axis so summation of force along y-axis in system two is 100 plus 200 minus 400 right 100 plus 200 minus 400 okay how much is it now 100 plus 200 is 300 300 minus 400 is minus 100 of course newton now the now the negative sign means the force on the system 2 it is acting downwards right because upward is positive so downward will be negative okay so if we say there is a force fy here in the system 2 then this has to be equal to 
summation of force in the along the y direction in system 2 okay so we get f of y is equal to 100 newton but downwards right and this f of x it is towards right this is towards right okay now we get basically what we get this is 100 right and this is f of x it is 100 right because this is 100 and this is 100 okay now we can find the resultant okay because we have only two forces here with the help of a parallelogram we can find the resultant let us move this fx force here let us say this is fx which is 100 newton of course let me erase this here now according to the parallelogram law the resultant will be somewhere between them right let us now since it is both the forces are equal so the resultant will be exactly in the mid of them right this is the resultant force okay and it will be at an angle of 45 degrees right because here we have 100 here we have 100 right mm, let me write it here we have 100 here because they are at an angle of 90 degrees right so the resultant will be half of 90 degree okay total is 90 so it is 45 degrees and this is 45 degrees okay this is the resultant okay and the magnitude of resultant is what whole under root of fx square plus fy square okay fx is 100 and fy is, fy is 100 right let me first write it fx square plus f of y square okay so the resultant is 100 square plus 100 square okay so when you use a calculator let me use a calculator resultant is whole under root of 100 square plus 100 square okay we get the resultant to be 141.42 of course it will be newton okay so we get the resultant let me write it here 141.42 newton right of course the answer is here which is correct okay now let us see the angle with the x-axis which is 45 degrees okay so this answer is correct to 45 degrees with the x-axis now let us find the moment at point a right because we have to find the equivalent force couple system at point a okay now let us assume the clockwise moments they are positive and it means the anti-clockwise moments will be negative right you can also choose clockwise moments to be negative and anti-clockwise moments to be positive it's your choice whatever you choose be sure to use the same sign convention from the beginning till the end of the problem okay now i have choose this so we have to find the moment at a so let us find the moment at a now 100 is passing through a so moment at a due to 100 will be zero so i will not be considering this 100 so <clears throat> let me erase first this now let us find the summation of moment at point a now due to 200 there will be a there will be an anti-clockwise moment right which is 200 multiplied by how far is 200 normally from point a it is 2.5 since it is anti-clockwise so i will put it as negative here in the equation now plus this 1900 newton meter it is a moment right so which is in an anti-clockwise direction so it will be negative here so i will write negative 1900 now due to 400 there will be a clockwise moment at point a so it will be positive 400 multiplied by how far is 400 normally from point a it is 2.5 plus 2.5 which is 5 meters right so 400 multiplied by 5 right so let me use the calculator it is negative 200 multiplied by 2.5 minus 1900 plus 
400 multiplied by 5 okay I get negative 400 negative 400 now because the negative moment is anti-clockwise so it means we have a moment at a okay which is anti-clockwise moment of 400 Newton meter magnitude okay so wh what we basically find let me erase all of this first we get a moment at point a okay in this direction which is 400 sorry which is 141.42 newton as you can see here making an angle of 45 degrees and also we have a moment here okay which is anti-clockwise which is equal to 400 newton meter okay now here the moment is 400 newton meter which means our answer is correct okay so now these system 1 and system 2 are equivalent okay we have converted all of these forces into a single moment and into a single force okay this is known as equivalent force couple system okay this force couple system system 2 is equivalent to system 1 okay so this way we solve equivalent force system this way we understood what are equivalent force systems okay so that's it if you have any doubts please comment and see you in the next class thank you